Fiora. Shulk. She's... Get it together, Shulk. <sighs> we ain't got time to be hanging around here. I don't know what's happened to her, but that was Fiora. No doubt about it. You know what that means? She ain't dead. We gotta get her back. Get her back. Right. We've come too far to give up now. Then we'll go to Mekonis and find Fiora. Just beyond there lies Sword Valley. The Mekon flew in the direction of Galahad Fortress. Fiora may be there. Will you pursue, Shulk? Yes. We will get Fiora back. Hey everybody, Skyrolink here. Welcome back to another episode of Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Last time, we made it down here to the bottom of Valak Mountain, which is right and uh, directly right in front of where uh, the little outcove that would lead us directly to the Mechonis, but not before running into an old enemy, Metal Face, as well as Fiora. And now we have confirmation that yes, it is indeed her. But we also learned the identity of Metal Face. It was none other than Mumkar. The man who thought we all thought was dead, lo and behold, he's alive. And now, with nothing else to do but to go out and seek the answers that lie before us, we head out to Sword Valley. But before we do that, we have uh, some uh, small little business to take care of, because we saved that knock on from those little chilkins last time, and he had a quest. Or, well, actually, Daku Daku, Dakuku has a quest. You the ones who helped the Nakbon. Let me thank you too. I'm glad everything worked out. Me too, a resounding success. It's good that there are people like you around. I've seen how strong you are. I have a request for you. I want you to investigate Chilkin Lair near Bagnar of Snowfield. Top secret information says that Chilkin Leader is missing. This is a chance for us to do our research. If we get catched again, we might get eaten. That's why I want you to do it. So they have no leader. Does that happen regularly? Not regularly, but not rarely. When leader goes, they just pick a new leader. That's what they've done for a long time. So the Chilkins are just like us Homs in that respect. I must admit this information has somewhat captured my interest. Investigate the Chilkin Lair in Bagnar Stonefield on Valak Mountain. See, we could do this. Thank you. There might be Chilkins in there, but go and investigate their lair. You no need to worry about them without their leader. No problem, leave it to me. We could take care of this now, and I don't know if there's like any like dire consequences regarding it, but eh. It's tempting, because it's like, it's right there. Uh... Mm. One quest never hurt anybody. <laughs> uh, okay, we're just gonna do this, and if there's another one after this, then we're gonna get move on. I promised myself that, hey, we're gonna focus on story stuff, but it's literally right here. It's just right here. Is it, like, directly in front of me, or am I gonna have to go a little bit higher? No, it's, like, it's right there. It's just right here. Like, I, I, I gotta, I gotta check it out, guys. I, I just gotta. For all we know, there's, there's nothing to it. Unless there's a unique monster, then something. There aren't any Chilkins here. Maybe Antle's got, got them. Is that it? If that's it, then I swear to God, that's funny as hell. Uh, it's nice that I got back here to the others. Be really grateful. Okay, buddy, whatever you say. Crawling with antles? There aren't even cocoons in there? That's not what I expected. The whole ecosystem in this area might be in danger. That doesn't sound good. That's quite a problem. A very serious situation, but hold on a while. I want to ask my friends about it. We need to think of a way to save this mountain. Thanks. Great, but now he's got another quest for us. What can we do to maintain the ecological balance of mountain? Hmm, hmm, this is a big problem. That means we need strong will to solve it. I need to speak to someone with the so strong that he's stubborn. Someone so strong. I bet Ryan's our man. What can we do to maintain it? Yeah, huh? Uh-huh. And so to speak, with so strong he's stubborn. Dumbman? Dumbman, are you our man? Uh-huh. Still haven't found the answer. Not yet. It's a tricky one to solve. What, is it a simple matter? 
There are two forces against each other. One side has a leader, the other side doesn't. The balance of power has simply been disrupted, correct? That's it? Just kill a strong leader, right? Then everything back to normal? That may restore their temporary balance. However, the problem is that the Chilkin leader's disappearance. Maybe that he is just in hiding and observing the situation. If that's true, then balance no can come back. That's why we only have one option available to us. We must eliminate both leaders. I understand. That's gotta work. They'll be so busy fighting over who becomes successor. And the former power balance of Valak Malin will be restored. Although I doubt that conflict itself will cease. Chilkins and Altos have lived on this mountain for a long time. That how this mountain has always been. Mountain always has been and always will be. That may be true. If you agree, then we will help. Really? It is a good thing to know where Antol Lidir is. He's an Antol den in cave inside Hollow Bone. You just have to try and find the missing, missing Chilkin leader. Understood. Sorry everyone, but I really think we should accept this request. So you need a, the Barbaric Citri in Antol Den, which we do, we, I think we've we actually seen this one. See, that's why we don't kill it. And then the Banquin Vasago, who is somewhere in Valak Mountain. Now we have not seen him, actually. Do it for all creatures that live on Valak Mountain. Well, as much as I would love, 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 you know, to, uh, to be a part of this little excursion, you know, we got, we got stuff to do. At least I did a quest. There, I fit. I filled in my quest quota for the. Oh, I got. Oh, I gotta walk back. What? Well, it's not that far of a walk. I just gotta go back to the freaking Great Glacier again. Oh, I know. I'm not where I'm at. Oh, I thought I was. That was further up. Whoopsies. Okay, no, we're, we're pretty much... It's not too bad of a walk. Alright. No more games. No more fooling around. Sure, the big guy right, might be right here, and I might want to kill him for funny, funny shits and giggles, but at least we know where he is. We will be back... Next time we come back to Valk Mountain, we'll probably take care of all this stuff. So don't worry. We will get a chance. We will get a chance. But honestly, I think I've had my fill of this place. I feel like people have been too. Don't worry. We're leaving. We're leaving, guys. We're leaving. I can see the exit right over there. I'm gonna turn on auto run for a second while I... While I do something real quick. Isn't auto run magic? Like, look, I'm gonna take a drink while watching Shulk run in a singular direction. It's beautiful. Mmm. Delicious. Okay, that's enough. One thing I will miss, though, is the music. Actually, I'm going to change the time to... 7 in the morning. So we can have that nice little daytime with us. So it's a little nice and bright. Nice and beautiful. Especially when we get over and cross the border. We're technically crossing the border right now. Isn't that crazy, guys? Isn't that crazy? Well, let's get on out of here. The Bionis Wrist. I got a skill? Oh, sweet. Good job, Shulk. Good job, Sharla. Good job, Dumban. Good job, Melia. Actually, let's get you over to Reliability. Good job, Ryan. Good job, Ricky. I'm gonna get you over to Innocence. You need some Innocence in your life, buddy. Okay. Not fooling around. No more games. So make it here to the Bionis' thumb. Oh boy. We, we come, we're going. We, we're making... If you want to know a good... Have a good idea of how far we've come. Yeah, you're about to see it. below. The whole thing is its sword. Something seems unnatural. What do you mean? Look, that flowing light, from the way it glows, 
It has to be ether, but it looks like it's being drawn in by something. By the fortress? It should just be up ahead. Father once told me that the Meconis absorbs the ether of the Bionis and uses it for sustenance. So the Meconis feeds off ether? Then undoubtedly the ether serves as the Mekon's energy source as well. Interesting. See, it's cool when you enter an area that is shown at the very like first minutes of Xenoblade. Like, that's honestly cool. Or I, I'm not Xenoblade, but I guess the game in general. A game in general. When you hear about an area, you see in cutscenes, you get a little bit of gameplay, a little snippet. And then now we're actually here. After like nearly 50 episodes, nearly half a hundred videos, we're finally here. Really shows you how big this game is. so big even from this distance the fortress must be enormous galahad fortress the frontline base of the mechon the mechon that attack by honest must all come from here then there's a high probability that he's there the golden mechon that took fiora we're about to enter the mechon stronghold if there's anyone who wants to turn back now. Shulk, friend should no split up. No leave friend behind. Ricky's scared, but Ricky won't go too. Ricky. He's right. Okay, let's go. Yes. Based Ricky. Best based Ricky and dumb man, you're doing a freaking awesome pose as we go here. Awesome sauce, I tell you. Awesome sauce. Also, yeah, the game just doubled in size. You saw Mikanis. It has its own icon. We're not even half. Well, I guess we are actually halfway now. What's that? A supply convoy. It would be most unwise to proceed without restocking our supplies. You arranged this for us. Hey, it's... Dixon! Looks like you lot have been having fun without me. Heard you took care of that faced Mekon. What are you doing here? I got wind of some allied force coming together a few days back. I stepped up as the representative of the Homs. Then a little birdie told me you lot were heading for Galahad Fortress. So I thought I'd drop by and say hello. I've got a whole stack of new equipment. Want some? Yeah! I was hoping for some new stuff. Hold it, Ryan. You know it's gonna cost you. You cheap old man. It's as he says, we can talk to the shop here. I'm not gonna, personally, I'm not gonna buy anything in terms of equipment. Well, maybe not, in terms of weapons at least, because, but I do want to make mention of this. We have anti mech on rod, anti mech on biter, anti mech on striker, anti mech on sniper, and anti mech on driver. If you get this equipment and equip it to everyone, Monado enchant basically becomes useless because this basically is weapons that these are basically weapons that can um, attack back on. One downside: this equipment sucks. It's not good. Only one empty slot. It does a lot less. I mean, yeah, I guess the benefit we're on Mechonis, so there's gonna be a lot of Mechon, so it's not like useless, useless. But Shulk's a good party member enough. Monado Enchant takes like two seconds to cast anyway. It doesn't even eat up your whole talent gauge. If it did eat up your whole talent gauge, then I guess I can see a use for it. Especially Melia's. Like, Melia doesn't even do physical attacks at all. Her main shtick is freaking ether based stuff, so it's especially useless for her. Gato's rifle is better than that. I can only really 
if anyone at all, really, I can only really suggest it for Ryan, Dumbman, and Ricky, your physical fighters, if I had to recommend it for anybody. It's just not, not that good. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I hate to be that guy, but like, uh, it's just, uh, it's just not that, uh, really not tickling my fancy. They got stuff here too. Uh, we can buy some art books though. Now this, this I like. What I'm going to be mainly spending our money on. Speaking of arts, I'm probably going to uh, do some preparations right before we get into the meat and potatoes of this area. But first, let's talk to Dixon again. If you're all ready, let me know what you've been up to. Looks like you've been through a lot. Tell me about it. Uh, tell Dixon what has happened. Yes. So that's why you're all looking so down. I can't believe they're sticking homs into those faced mechon. Looks like they weren't just eating us. They made Mumkar into one. He was the one who attacked Colony 9. Oh, and there was me thinking he snuffed it in that battle. Aren't you surprised? That he attacked Colony 9? I don't know what drives those mechon. I've given up trying to figure them out. It don't surprise me one bit. <laughs> Still, Munker as well, eh? Things are getting interesting. Sorry? Oh, nothing. It is time for us to return. I would like to continue providing assistance, but my help is required in assembling homs for the Allied force. There are also my duties as Seer to consider. Then I'll be off too. You lot should be alright getting Fiora back. In the meantime, we'll be getting ready for battle. Thanks for coming this far. We'll be fine. We can handle ourselves. Galahad Fortress is a key position for the Mechon. You can't just rush in, all guns blazing. Agreed. We will infiltrate via the ether inlets. If I'm right and the Mechon do feed off ether, then we're sure to find some form of influx channel. Our objective is to reach one of those channels. Don't go dying on me, Shulk. I won't. You take care as well. Cheers. Looks like it's just us. Right. We head for the hilt of the sword. Galahad Fortress. Okay. One year on. Now, at last, we will seize our destiny. Isn't that right, Shulk? Another has appeared with the ability to wield the Monado. But why would Zanza release the Monado? He surely knows it would become a double-edged sword. Yet he relinquishes it to that mere child. And the face escaped my control and acted alone. Now that the Monado has been free, it appears the usefulness of the faces has come to an end. Although, perhaps there are still things to be learnt from having them challenge the boy. Bye bye, Alvi Poo. 
He was with us for a while. Maybe you can still shop. I was kind of worried that they're like, uh oh, they took it away from us. Um, let me look at my arts first. Oh, oh, oh yeah, anchor chain. Uh, oh, oh man. Look at us having all this stuff that we can level up in it. How much? Ooh. A little less than I thought, actually, but I do want to at least, like, level up everything again. Shield, I want to get that up higher. Yeah, you know me, I've kind of been slacking on that speed. Let's get that up a bit. Purge, you can get up a little bit as well. Uh, we're going to be getting enchanting a lot. Yeah. Might as well get that buster up, too. Uh, what about main arts? What can I level up? Um... Backslash, of course. I love that art. Uh, Charlotte will upgrade your healing arts. A bit. Yeah, you can see, it's like... Um... Everything just gets, like... Expensive, dang. Especially Charlotte's healing. Like, that's, uh... That, that ain't cheap. Uh, Dumban, you're kind of... You're kind of cooking. Let's level up Soaring Tempest up a little bit. Thunder as well. Uh, still have 15,000 I can mess around with. Yeah, let's do that. Mm-hmm. Gale Slash, Worldly Slash up too? Yeah, why not? Why not? Absolutely. Uh, let's get the main summons up an extra level. Get him up there. Get him, get him out of there. Uh, yeah, I have some in, uh, I should probably get Mind Blast up a little bit. Give Mind Blast a little, a little extra nudge. Sorry, Kick, I never leveled up at all. I don't know why I never did, but I never did. Uh, let's see, Rhine. Sword Drive's awesome as ever. Uh, let's see, I was just kind of, I'm just kind of giving everything like an extra level. So it's at least a little bit powerful. Uh, dive Sabat went... Uh, dive Sabat... I said... What the hell was I saying? It's wild down. I hope... I pray to God I was not thinking of Kaisen when I said that. Actually, I was. Oh, God. What do I say? Ricky! Let's get your bitey bitey up. Get your freezing or Your burninate. Ooh, we got that up. Tantrum... Let's get that to level 5, why not? Rolly Pulley's pretty good. Happy Happy, we like that. You could do it's a good one too. Uh, let's see. That's everyone. Okay. I already moved everyone's skill trees around, so we should be getting uh, some new stuff. So with all that being- wait, 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 I, I, I mentioned this before, but, um... Gem crafting, I wanna get- get- Clean things up a little bit. Who's got a... Uh, you know what? Let's get that... Uh, let's get that uh, Ricky going. Ricky want to Consider play? it done. Yay! Uh, amazing! Ooh, like this? Yeah! Ooh, uh, ooh, ooh, like this? Yeah! Yay! Uh, good! Ooh, uh, ooh, ooh. We make it! Actually, that might have been not the best idea, because Ricky's pretty terrible at that. He's probably more so better at, like, doing... Yeah, yeah, let's com combine this. Uh, Let's see. The Charlotte Shulk combo works freaking wonders. Oh, yeah, yeah, look at that. Look at that, we're getting everyone in here. Look at these gems. Strength up three... Chill defense. We got all these level 3 gems, and we can turn those, crust those, grind those up in the grinder. Well, look at this. I, 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 I should be... I should be grinding these up. I've got it. Okay, let's get on with it. Clear some space. Finished. Okay, only one that time. That's okay. No, I don't need no recommendations. I do whatever I want in this world. 
I've got it. Okay. Let's I've go got it. it. Come on. God, oh, come on. How many 99% were there? There's, there's a lot of 99%, man. Now, let's craft some basic ones in here, too. Why not? Uh... Yeah. Yeah, why not? See what happens. Okay. Alright, I've had my... I've had my fill. Not gonna put those on yet, but hey, I made some. So I, I filled my quota of gem crafting. We'll be doing... There'll probably be a day where I just sit back and just... Craft. But anyway, Sword Valley. Uh, it is a location uh, that I would recommend uh, you explore vividly. Or, like, thoroughly. I probably won't be exploring everything in one fell swoop, but we will definitely be exploring as much as I can. I know. Me, hearing me say exploring and all that stuff. I'm looking at my my video right now. At least there was, like, some story progress and all that stuff, but we haven't made too much progress at all. But, like, Sword Valley... There, well, I, I say explore, but... There's really not much to see. Sword Valley, I'll be honest, is more so of a straight line. There are a couple of branching paths and all that stuff, like Ged Fortress here, which isn't an example of what it is. But the main gimmick of Sword Valley is uh, right here. We have these uh, walls. Walls will block our way, so we have to go through these like little fortresses to open the way. Like, like for example, I can go over here, and there will be... Nothing I could do. Like, look at this. this wall. We can't go past this wall. The sixth gate. And nothing we could do about that. There, there, oh, I was gonna say there's a mech on over here, but there's nothing. There ain't no mech on. I, I do like the Sword Valley uh, music. I think the original version kind of got snuffed. It wasn't as great, but like the freaking Definitive Edition... Did it justice. It did it justice. So now that we push that switch, we can go over here and we can lower the gate. Now the main fun begins. Level 52, M104 Fortress Unit. These are... These enemies are no joke. If you don't want to deal with them, there are like little side roads that you can take right here. To, that take you on higher elevations. And, you know, you can see more stuff and all that stuff. For the most part, this is probably how I'm going to be traversing uh, Sword Valley. Not that the... To be fair, the Mechon aren't actually too terribly difficult to take down. To be fair. And, and Sword Valley as a location isn't anything like too deep or anything like that. It's just, uh... See, look, look at that. Now that's more my style. Level freaking 40 enemies. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna I'm jump down. I'm gonna slide down and be a little mischievous, mischievous dog. Ironically, it's the little alert units that can actually cause some issues for us, but we ain't gonna mess with that. Oh, actually. You know what? Let's bash some mech on. Let's have some fun here. Hey, fellas. How's it going? It's Scourlink here. We haven't faced mech on with the exception of Mumcar and Metal Face on top of Prison Island since, uh, since the Aether Mine, really. Uh, and that was a grand total of... Let's see, it's episode... Hey! Level up. I will say, these guys actually do give a decent experience. So... Yeah. It's not bad. Oh no. Got the little guy over here. You know what? I don't care about you. I'm a buster you. He's dead. Stellar gear? Hold on, hello. Wait, what? What happening? Oh, oh, they already they already got skills? We barely started. Voice crack. 
and Ryan is the last one at level 50. I guess Ryan has probably seen the least amount of action since... Uh, starring in Ricky learned a new art, art peekaboo. Gleefully thwack the enemy as a side attack confuses mech on How fitting we got this as soon as we entered Gal freaking not Galahad Fortress. Uh You know what? Um I, I do like Freezing Eight. Uh I think I'm gonna get rid of Roly Poly for the time being at least. I feel like this peekaboo is more situational, but it does kind of fit in with what we're doing, so if I do decide to switch in Ricky for some wacky, uh wacky tacky action, uh well I think you guys know. I think you guys know what uh what Napon ults was started serving. Uh, let's see, we got more enemies. I, 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 even though I can easily slay everything, you're not going to see me slay a Demekon 24-7. I'll tell you right now. I'll tell you what. Actually, no, if I got to talk like Hank Hill, I could be like, I'll tell you what. Now, not all the gates are going to be as simple as going in and, you know, pushing the button right next to the gate. As you saw with the sixth gate, we have to kind of go through a little bit of a fort. As you can see... At the here we have the Dolgan outpost. We have a lot of mech on just chilling out here, and we even have a timed uh, surprise quests that occasionally come here. Secure Dolgan outpost. Defeat pretty person at the Dolgan outpost. You see this? We get to have fun. Anyway, I want to check my equipment because I saw I got a nice hat, stellar gear. Who who, who would freaking don this hat perfectly? Uh. Heavy gear. Ryan can wear that heavy gear. Uh. Hmm. Who who would benefit the most? Uh, you know what? Dumb band, you can wear it. Get the whack, nice little hat. And you can have our. You can have, uh. I think these dem enemies, I actually have spike resistance, so we might have to use purge if my memory is correct. So I might actually give you spike defense 4. Why not? Anyway, I know you guys are going to cause me no trouble, but I want to kill you anyway. Because it's funny. It's funny to kill the Mechon. It's funny to watch them crumble. It's funny to watch them fall. What is this guy doing? Buddy, where are you? What are you? What are you doing? Bro, bro is contemplating his life choices right now. Bro had to sit down and... He had to take a break and think about himself. He had to stop and think. Now remember the usual topple method does work. So remember that. That's another way. If you don't want to play as Shulk. And uh, have fun. Because there are people who believe out there. Who are like, Shulk stinks. And I'm like, he doesn't. He's like perfectly balanced. Brave Gloves, Cloud Cutlass. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, hello. Hello. Hey. So can take off his gloves and be free. He can breathe. Let the boy breathe. Uh, let's see. Take those recovery up, too. Is this a good weapon? That- Holy shit! Bro. Bro! And it looks cool? Hell yeah, brother! You know what? You taking up the you taking the strength up three, buddy. You taking it? You taking it? You're gonna brandish that, and you're gonna like it. You're gonna like it. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Come I I would recommend if it's a unless it's a unique monster, I would recommend you probably hold off on using Buster or anything because the, the, the these enemies are basic. They're not like gonna cause you any trouble. They go down without a hitch. And also, you probably want to cast Enchant uh, sooner in a battle, so... Yeah, no. We do make a great team, Charlotte. You're absolutely right about that one. And haha, -ha, that guy doesn't know. Now, we don't have to kill the guy, the unique monster. We don't have to. We can move, we can move right on ahead if we want to. But it's a timed quest. And a surprise one at that. 
yeah, 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 you know, you know what I'm gonna do to that thing. You know what I'm gonna do to that mech on. I don't need you alerting them prematurely, good sir. I didn't even know you were up here, so that was my fault. Yeah, I already know what I'm gonna do to that thing. There's no rules against the mech on, dumb man. I can do whatever I want to that thing. I'm stupid. Thank God we have normal part S though. I needed that. Ooh, I needed that. Yeah, give me that. Instead of ether crystals, we have ether pods. We can get our fix in. All right. Gonna engage. Yay, unique monster time. And I will say, most of the unique monsters here, kind of jokes. They, they, they ain't nothing crazy. They, they, they ain't gonna cause you no problem. Just like the enemies. I, I meant to do a Shaker Edge. I didn't mean to go for a freaking Shadow Eye. But I mean, I mean, just, just to give you an idea of where we're at in life. We're level. These enemies are in their 40s. We're level 51. Quite honestly, I probably even shouldn't even be this level. But you know, it, it's just the grind. The, the grind, like, just kicks in sometimes. Oh, let's go for a chain attack, why not? Let's get this guy. Topple him. Oh, Charlotte had to pull off. Probably should have listened to the Q. Oh, well. Dang it, I was like two seconds away. Oh, well. I, I toppled it, at least. Look your gut buster. Uh, you moved at the last second. Bro, why you gotta mess with me? Deadshot 4. So we're still up to date with our shield, so we shouldn't really have any problems. Uh, Dumban, uh, go for a Blossom Dance. Freaking have fun with him. Murder him in his last moments. Wait, actually he's gonna die. Wait, never mind, he survived. He's a fighter. Orion Cap. Around. Quality sh- uh, Bro, we got his quality shaft. Take take that as you will. Uh, let's see. Let's check out the new hat. Ameth- Or Ryan cap. This- Ryan- Only Ryan can wear this, so... Which is better, though. Yeah, that's better. Uh... In the meantime... Uh, let's see. Charlotte, you can take it. You can take this, and you can take... Uh, you can take agility up three, why not? Oh, we got the frozen gauntlets. Who can benefit from these? Dumbben could. So could Rhine. I kind of like the... Hmm... I don't know, man. I don't know, bro. What else did I get? Wait, what did I get the clouds? Did I just get that right now? Guess I've, I've had, okay, I've had these apparently for a while now. Uh, let's see. Even though her staff was like the the, the baller. Ether up three, why not? Uh, don't. Man, I've been slacking. I've been slacking on these. I've been ignoring the cries of the people. Take that, why not? Everyone gets their new new stuff. Oh, I also got wait heavy armor. Nah, blade leggings. Charlotte could take those. Dumban could take those. Melia could take those. Um. Hmm. 
What are the sky bombs? 55. I think Melia probably needs it the most. Everyone a lot of this has been kind of getting like the recent stuff, even though it's not bad. Um, let's give it a Melia. Why not? Amethyst boots. Uh, yeah, Ryan, you can take it. Why not? Ryan's just our our everything everyday guy. He's just like he gets everything. All right. So that's taken care of. Took care of that unique monster. Finished that quest. Fell down, broke my legs, but that's fine. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. To go for an enchant. And Voida. That's the spirit. We're doing it. Machine Mayhem. I believe that's for killing a certain number of Mechon. Why do I struggle saying that? M -m 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 mechon. M -m 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 mechon. All right, I think we're gonna go open that gate. I don't feel like it's necessary for me to go and murder the hopes and dreams of every single mechon. But like you know, some of them okay. Some of them's fine. Now sword sword valley uh, nighttime is pretty good too. And look, look at this, we have a little, neat little hole. We have a little hole. A little hidey hole that we could check out. I don't know where those will take us, but you know, it's a hidey hole. We like hidey holes. Got that meaty carrot. What's behind here? Okay, an ether, ether pod. Is it an ether pod or is it... Well, I mean, it's an ether deposit, I guess. Um, but, like, I mean, it serves the purpose of an ether deposit, I guess I should say, but... But, um... It, it's, it's a pod. Let me know in the comments if it does have an official name or not, and then I can call it that, even though probably by the time I get an answer... Uh, it'll probably the time will pass. Oh, those things. These fellas. You. You. Ooh, you. Not now, but I, I, I know you. I know you. I, I know you from, uh, from this game. It's called Xenoblade Chronicles. Hey, I know you. I saw you on TV last night. <laughs> Dang. Seracis Cutlass? Please don't tell me that's a even better weapon. No, that's... Dang! 777. That's actually kind of cool. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. I'll, I'll give you that, Xenoblade. You, you, got, you got that over me. The Bud of Eternity. That's the bud of eternity. Got more of these fellas. Kind of worried that once I hit level 52, or possibly, we probably will hit level 52 before we're done with this. Or level 53. You never know. Can't really tell with all this, uh, with all this chaos. Which reminds me of Stranger of Paradise. Chaos. They say chaos all the time, and that gets jacked. Jack Garland's uh, little eyes. Ooh. More blade leggings and earth boots. Oh boy. Oh boy. You, you know what, Charlotte? You, you get that. You get. You get in this too. You get to match. Uh, Melia. You get new pants. New pantalones. Got that meaty carrot. Alright, where does... Where are we? we Past the gate. Oh, that won't do. We gotta open that gate. Can you... Skip ahead. Hmm. I guess you could. 
See, at least, at least Xenoblade's open like that. Xenoblade cool like that. Um, yeah, the fourth gate. But you know me, guys. We can open it. We can fix it. We can make it better. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's a safe way of me to go about doing this. Please don't kill me. This isn't going well. Steal yourself. The fight has only just begun. I get that, dumb man. I get it! I just wanted to lower the gate. I want to lower all of them, because lowering the gates is fun. It's cool when you do it, okay? It makes me feel awesome inside. Oh, hey, buddy. You know what? I'll kill you, and then we'll, 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 we'll wrap it up. Because you remind me of Super Smash Brothers Melee. With your name. And you were just sitting out there. You're kind of begging for it, quite... Literally, good sir. Like, we lowered the gate and I saw your face. What did you want me to do? Want me to just stay there and say, Hey, buddy. Hey, M82. Normal part L? Bro took the L. Alright. Look at us go. Look at how far we've gone. It feels like we've really... Quite simply, barely scratched the surface. Although, I think we're actually making pretty decent progress, all things considered. Gal, Sword Valley and crazy. I'll be real. But, um, we're not done with it yet. But we've definitely made a serious dent in it, I guess that you could say. But, uh, yeah. Well, that'll pretty much cover it for today. Look at us. We made it here to Sword Valley, our first steps onto the Mechanis. And we, after a little run-in with Dixon and a farewell to Alvis, we began our trek. We, we began our trek all the way to Galahad Fortress. Next time on Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, we continue our trek towards the fortress. See you guys then.